I saw his glory. Uh, we'd like to tell you my relationship uh, with, with Smith Wigglesworth, the, the, the famous apostle of faith uh, from Bradford, England. My relationship began with him uh, when I was 20 years old, and not with my meeting him, but hearing of him. I was in, in San Francisco uh, preaching, and uh, to start my trip around the world. They said, have you met Smith Wigglesworth from England? I said, no, not yet. They said he was here. And, and they, they told me a number of the things that happened, but I will only tell you one. They, that right there in the same church where I was preaching, the great Glad Tidings Tabernacle, that at that time seated more than 3,000 people. It says he was here speaking, and on a Sunday afternoon, he had a healing service. And, and that... Uh, that they brought the people from hospitals and wheelchairs and all kinds of situations for Smith Wigglesworth to pray for them. And from one of the local hospitals, the doctor brought a very severe cancer case. That They didn't want to bring him because he was so near death. The doctor accompanied him and sat by his little, little portable hospital bed on the platform. And here came Smith Wigglesworth, who was just a little bit gruff, uh, down the line praying for the people. And the way he would ask you what was wrong with you, he'd say, Hootsoop. Now, in his part of England, that was a similar way to their speaking. Hootsoop means uh, what ailed you or, or what, what is wrong with you. And so he got to this patient that was laying out on a bed uh, there and, and, and had on one of the little hospital gowns, you know, that has no buttons, in, uh, buttons up in the back. There was a doctor sitting there uh, with his uh, stethoscopes in his ears and listening to the man's heartbeat and, 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 and letting everybody know that he was, the man was very near death. And so when Smith Wigglesworth said, what's up? The doctor replied and said he is dying of cancer. Uh, Wigglesworth said, where is it? And the, the doctor said, in his stomach. And, and Smith Wigglesworth, possibly the most unusual person that I've ever met in my life, he wound up his hand and hit him where the cancer was in the stomach. Punched him so hard until the man died. Just like, just his hands fell uh, off, off the bed and, and the doctor screamed, he's dead, he's dead. And he looked up and said, you killed him. You killed him. The family will sue you. You killed him. Smith Wigglesworth wasn't upset one bit. He said, he's healed. And that's the way he would say, you are healed. He says, He's healed. He, he didn't, you know, he didn't pronounce H's. He said, he's healed. And he didn't stop, you know. He just went on down the line praying. About 10 minutes later down the line, here came the man walking. He'd gotten up off that bed. He had moved the doctor to one side. And he was walking in that, in that funny little hospital dress, you know, that comes along here like this and is open in the back. And, and here he was following Smith Wigglesworth with his hands in his, uh, up in the air, praising God. He said, I have no pain. I feel wonderful inside. I have energy that I had not had for I don't know how long. And he was following him. And, and Smith Wigglesworth is so unusual. He didn't turn around and say, well, thank God. Oh, praise God. Everybody look at it. To him, it was such a usual thing. He said, well, just thank God for it. And he just went on praying for people. <coughs> Now, that was the first time I'd heard of Smith Wigglesworth. And inside of me, I said, say, someday I want to meet him.